So if we look at your own career, you have mm -hmm. this gigantic hit with Thelma and Louise, mm -hmm. beginning of the 90s, gigantic mm -hmm. hit with Gladiator mm -hmm. at the end, mm -hmm. and in the middle you have 1492, mm -hmm. you have G.I. Jane, which mm -hmm. doesn't work, nobody really likes. Did mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. on each occasion whether it would work? If you look, I'll probably, I'm not going to tell you how much my films have grossed over uh, 30 years, mm -hmm. but it's in the billions. Mm -hmm. And so when a film doesn't necessarily work in box office, what happens in the home box office, which is everything from television to, to now huge DVD market, to VHS, which was you know, the, the tape thing, to every conceivable form of income that goes into the pot after the release of the movie is substantial, really substantial. So I'm never worried about that because, um, you know, um, when I look at oh, my, I'm my own big, biggest critic, basically. When I finished a movie and I look at it and I say, I did a good job or not, that's it, I move on. I fundamentally never read my own press, ever, ever. Rule number one, ever since legend. Mm -hmm. Don't read your own press, whether it's good or bad. Take, you, you literally take, will not read reviews now? Take no notes, no. I don't take it. My, I'm the biggest critic that I've got. I'm the hardest critic on myself that I've got. So, um, I don't, do I worry about it? Yeah, I worry about it, but I prefer never to look at it. And did it, uh, given that some, uh, you had, you have very big hits, you have mm -hmm. some that mm -hmm. come as well, does that affect you psychologically? During no. the 90s, did your confidence no. drop? No, no, um, I think I had such a long road getting into film. Before I hit a movie, I'd done 2,700 commercials. Oh. And uh, so, you know, in essence, the duelists, I was able to be the completion bond, pay for my own screenplay, and take no fee, so I didn't get paid for the, for the duelist, okay? So any director whines to me now that he's not getting enough money because it's only $400,000, $400, I, you know, I'm pretty rude to him. And when you look back, are there any, you think, wrong movie? No, not really, no, I mean, somebody then said to me after that, why don't you make normal films about normal people, because obviously people aren't ready for this yet, because Blade Runner and, and Legend hadn't really worked, although I thought they were, um, actually pretty good. You have to trust your intuition. You've got to stop reading your press. This is why I tell actors, stop reading the press. Don't take any notes. You, you're the, particularly when the actor's particularly intelligent and actually will, will you know, continually do an extremely good job, said so stop looking at the newspapers, okay? You, you've just done what you think. And you, to do a great performance of certain actors, like where virtuoso performance, Right. They know how good they are. Believe me, that's not by accident. They know exactly what they're doing, exactly what they've done, and they agonize over that. At the end of it, they look at it and go, okay, that was good, move on.